Yeah, I think um, obviously it was a heck of a win for us. Um, I thought we played really well for 35 minutes, and I think fatigue set in in these last five minutes. And uh, you know, a difficult game in Cairns, and then travel all the way down uh, yesterday and get in here late in the afternoon and. An early morning game today. Uh, just a credit to our guys to bounce back. Um, resilient, extremely gritty. Um, just a really big weekend for us. And um, yeah, just a credit to these guys. They just are relentless in their in their process of working um, and playing together. And um, the group's been fantastic. Adrian, do you want to go? Yeah, sure. Scott um, Wilson. As you say, you, you seem to be in control really for the best part of 35 minutes. They've got a few points to start to between them and then at the end. I mean, for the kind of intervening 30 minutes, was that almost as well as you've played this season? Well, I think we were really consistent. So I think that, you know, again, we followed the game plan very well. Uh, these guys um, dug in defensively again and, and made a stand. And um, again, just to come back on a back to back and a quick turnaround and that kind of travel. Uh, just a credit to them and their work ethic. And, you know, these guys thrive on everyone else's performance except themselves. They love to see other people do well, and they're always in for the other guy. Uh, one of the things we talk about here is valuing each other and, and putting in, investing in someone else in, other than yourself. And they've, you know, been humble and hungry and bought into all that and um, just a gritty win. What happened in those last five or six minutes? Did you, did you get a little bit more conservative on offense? I don't know if it was conservative, but you know they were uh, obviously uh, had fouls to give, and they picked up their aggression. And again, I think fatigue started to set in, and you know we got bogged down, and the ball wasn't moving very well, and guys were tired. And um, uh, that trip, I think, like I said, um, on the back end probably wore us down a little bit, and their aggression to uh, be able to pick up and get after us, and had fouls to give, uh, which turned into turnovers, and uh, it made it uh, more exciting than it should have been. And obviously, uh, with Jack there setting it down the stretch, you a couple of big buckets there. Yeah, I mean, Jack obviously was fantastic, but the group across the board, everyone came in and contributed. You know, this kid comes in and gets 10 rebounds from the guard spot. Uh, it's just everyone doing their job and doing the work and continuing to go through this process. And uh, we don't talk about the ladder or anything. We haven't talked about it all year. We just talk about this one more chance and an opportunity to represent the state. Uh, and go out there and, and show everybody what they've been doing. And, um, you know, to be two and six at one point, and a lot of people left us for dead. And then Magne's injury, and more people jumped on that bandwagon. But I really was uh, confident in that we were doing the right things, and these guys were buying into it. And I think the basketball gods end up rewarding you after a while just doing the right thing. Well, what is the situation with Mill? Will, can you give us an update on where he might be? Uh, he'll have a doctor's uh, appointment early this week, and uh, there's not much progress there. Uh, we'll go week to week with him, but um, it's hard for me to say really anything because he goes to the doctor again tomorrow. It's just one of those weird injuries that there's there's really no treatment. It's just rest, and with a bone bruise, until it goes away, it goes away. So uh, we'll see where he is again tomorrow after he has some uh, more doctor visits. And again, there's nothing structurally wrong with him. It's just uh, the soreness that's in that weird spot on the kneecap. So. Um, we love to have him back, but um, let's don't disregard, you know, Jock Perry and Fab and JB and playing small and these guys just going to town and, and doing everything possible and believing in each other to go win. I know you say you don't look at the ladder, you don't want to talk about the ladder, but you are creeping a little bit closer, particularly to the likes of Illawarra there. Uh, is it hard to kind of lock that talk out of the mind? I know. I just, to be, I just, I just don't pay attention to it. You know, in our first year, we we're talking about building a foundation and um, what it means to put this jersey on and what the work ethic is to be a jack jumper and what we go through every week to prepare. And I just prepare week by week. And these guys have bought into that. They don't look too far down the road. Uh, we need some rest, and we'll have it on Monday and Tuesday, and we'll regroup and we'll go to uh, kind of a neutral site and, and we'll do it again with these guys. And it's. They've earned the right to be in this kind of game uh, with people looking around the country and wondering, are they for real or not? And our team has earned the right to stick our head above 500, and we'll see what we do next week. But um, just a great effort by our guys this weekend. And last one for me, to have someone, a leader, come off the bench like Clinton, you know, perform the role he did. He, he, from the moment he came in there, he just seemed to give you momentum, obviously, hitting those big shots either side of the time. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a sniper and uh, a class guy, a professional, our captain. He leads us on and off the floor continuously. 
Um, you know, last time we played them was Sam McDaniel that stepped in. And everyone's just stepping in and doing their part. And I've always asked these guys, just, just be good today. I don't need you to be great. Just be who you are normally. And uh, Clint, you know, was making shots, and that was a huge relief to us, obviously. And um, the ball was moving early on, but I think, again, fatigue set in a little bit, and uh, we, were, we, we got across the finish line with just enough. Great job. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Someone got to ask Matt Kenyon something. I didn't bring him in here for his looks. Hey, sorry, I'm, sorry, Matt. I'm turning over. So what did the lights run? Uh, so how did that play out for you? And um, how big a role did the crowd play in sort of getting you guys over the line? Yeah, I mean, the crowd's huge. Uh, we have a really good culture here, and the Tasmanian fans get behind us every single home game, so it's amazing to have them in the crowd. I think it was sold out again tonight, which was amazing. Um, but, yeah, we just got to be a bit more disciplined down the end. Like Scott said, on the back of that, we are a bit tired, but no excuses here. Um, yeah, we should be better next game, though. Matt, the uh, um, the commentators are making reference to the fact, the fact that there's some kind of really crazy plus minus uh, plus score for the gap jumpers when you're on the floor when you're starting. Are you aware of that? Uh, I'm not really aware of that. I don't really pay attention to the stats and whatnot. I just kind of do my job and, yeah, try to help the team win. Right. We know it as coaches, though. <laughs> Oh, G'day, Matt. Um, just pretend for a second that Scott's not sitting there next to you. <laughs> as, a, as a player, is it, is it hard not to maybe have one eye on possibly making the finals from this point? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we all want to make the finals. We're not, there's no secret about that. Um, but it's just about the process for us, like Scott says, just trust in the process. We come in every day and we work hard. Um, and we play basketball the right way. And I think, like, like Scott said before, the basketball gods reward you. Um, so, yeah, if we just keep doing what we're doing, playing the right way, playing together, I think um, that'll, that'll take care of itself, really. Okay, so you've got um, your game next week, Saturday night. Um, it's, it's seems like a long wait. Um, has it come at the, uh, what, maybe a wrong time? You've got all this momentum. Like, how are you going to spend that week and, and maintain that momentum for next, next Saturday night? No, I don't think so. We had a, a pretty big weekend this weekend, um, a lot of hurt bodies and whatnot. Um, so we get two days off to recover and then a good week um, training together and getting back to it. It doesn't really matter when the games are. Um, we'll come ready to play and, yeah, we'll be ready to verse them again next weekend with some fresh legs. Yep, OK, how are you, how are you involved, um, enjoying your role in the team and how do you think it's evolved over the games? Um, yeah, I mean, I love it here. Um, it suits my game. My role suits his team, I think. Um, gritty, hard nose, just do whatever I can, really. Um, I don't try to be a selfish player. I don't try to score 20 points a game. I just do what I'm meant to do. Um, so for me, I, I don't really mind what my role is. It's just making sure I do it and um, being efficient with it and just making life hard for everyone else on the court. The Hawks came at you pretty hard early on with the defence. The defence was, you know, all, all but impenetrable there in that early in that first quarter. Did you did you guys feel that out there on the court? Yeah, we knew they'd be aggressive defensively. Um, yeah, we knew that from the jump, so we were, we were prepared for it. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we expected that. One thing that Gorge talked about was the incredible depth of your side and when he shuts down a player or two there, somebody else bobs up and hurts them. Um, what do you think about the depth and how proud are of, of them are you? Well, you know, it's probably you guys get tired of me saying it, but these guys just come in every day and work and we, we push everyone to be uncomfortable, uh, to stretch and, and, and do things that maybe they're not used to in the past and where they've been. And, um, you know, that second group that's kind of out there with Clint and, and Sam now is in that mix and Mikhail, uh, Fab was in there with Will now there. They actually probably beat the first team most of the time in practices. Um, and that group really has a great gel uh, when they're on the floor and it gives us depth and it gives us um, a comfortability that, you know, these guys can, can, can continue to either maintain what we're doing or increase the lead. And um, the depth of these guys uh, and the work they do, uh, they earn the right to be on the floor. And I have no problem putting anyone on the floor that earns that right. And they know that. And um, they respond to the minutes they get. And they just do their job. You got something to say about that, Matt? No, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> 
Scott, just one from me. Yeah. You've obviously you've been a really tough 18 months or yeah. so. How special is it to have now your wife and now today yeah. here? Um, and bring them into the Jack family. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, my daughter in particular has been watching these games via whatever she does in the middle of the night back home, and now for her to actually experience being in the building. Uh, she just got in the other day, so it was, it was a highlight, obviously, to, to win and be in that environment and share that with them. And um, to be back together as a family is incredible for us. So um, it's been a long wait, and, um, uh, yeah, just a great win and a great um, – experience for me to share with uh, with my family. Any last ones? Oh, thank you. That's fine. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Appreciate Thanks, guys. it. Thank you.